Okay, so I've got two different storage options for the PlayStation 5 in my hand right now. So I've got a solid state drive. So this is a one terabyte Western Digital uh, solid state drive. I'm going to be storing a PlayStation 4 game on this drive and comparing it to this one. So this is also from the same company. This is a one terabyte Western Digital hard disk drive. So this one is not as uh, you know fast as the solid state drive. So the base of the speed and the performance for the PlayStation 5 all comes from the fact that the memory or the storage is now SSD as compared to HDD from the original PlayStation 4. Thing is I'm going to be testing out the performance and the speed playing PS4 games off of these two drives so you guys can see which one's faster, which one's better, you know, depending on what you're looking for. I will let you know that SSD storage devices cost more than HDD storage devices. So that's one thing you might want to consider as well depending on, you know, what your budget is like. So we're going to see which one is faster, which one performs better or if they perform the same in this video right here. That way, if they perform the same, then there's no reason to get a solid state drive. So a lot of people have been asking me questions about this to be sure if, you know, using a solid state drive will let the PlayStation 4 optimized games play as optimized or, you know, get all the benefits if they were played off of, you know, an SSD drive. I already did a video on extended storage for the PlayStation 5, you know, for PlayStation 4 games using a regular HDD drive like this one right here, the Western Digital 1 terabyte hard disk drive. So I'm gonna compare both of them right now. If you're interested in figuring out which one's best for you, then stick around for this video right here. By the way, before I get into it, there's going to be a link down in the description for each of these drives. So whichever one you wanna purchase after these tests, make sure to go down in the description and pick it up through those links. Now, let's get right to this, man. Okay, so I've downloaded God of War and I've moved it to both drives, the, the HDD and the SDD. I'm going to play and compare, you know, the speed and load times, uh, the performance, the way it looks off both of them. So you guys are gonna see what they both look like coming off the PlayStation 5, off two different, you know, hard drives. So let's go ahead and see how this looks right away. First of all, I'm going to show you guys that we don't have the file on the system right now. So I'm gonna click on the game and you're gonna see it's gonna say that, you know, it can't find the game. Uh, install the storage drive which is which it's installed on. So we're going to use both of them right now to see the speed or the difference in speed. Based on the test I just conducted between both of these drives, I'll say the SSD is a better drive to use, you know, playing PlayStation 4 games that have been optimized for the PlayStation 5 because it's a little bit faster, at least based on what I've seen or beta based on what I've tested. I don't, I don't know if you guys saw that. It's proven that the SSD is faster than the HDD. It's just what it is, man. But the thing is, SSDs cost way more than HDDs right now, but they're getting cheaper every year. They're getting more and more affordable and more vendors are starting to carry them, you know, for cheaper prices and stuff like that. It all depends on what you're really looking for. If you're going to 
you're playing a lot of PS4 games and you want to optimize PS5 experience, then you might as well go ahead and grab a SSD. But if you don't really care about that little bit, you know, difference in speed, then you can go ahead and go for the HDD. The thing is, the difference is not massive, but it, there is a difference there. There's definitely a difference in the speed. So to me, I'll probably use the HDD and the SSD depending on, you know, different situations. Like I'll, I'll save my older PS4 games on my HDD and my newer PS4 games or, you know, PS4 games I'm currently playing, I'll save on my SSD. Let me know down in the comment section which one you guys will prefer, which one you guys are going to be using with your PlayStation 5s. I would really like to know. So let me know down in the comment section. Come on, y'all. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button, y'all. We're building a family over here. So I really appreciate every support and each and every one of y'all, man. If you intend on buying one of these drives, you can go down in the description below. I'm going to have some Amazon links through which you can purchase them. So I would appreciate it because I would get some affiliate income off of that, which, to be honest, helps me grow and get better at what I do. If you enjoy videos like this one and want to see some more like it, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. It's Midas. And I'm out, y'all.